What is up, Coretics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to, because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in my next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Albany Washington. Now this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from the Summer San Andreas website for $15,000 or of course you can get it off the street for free. Now I do want to mention right out of the gate here guys that this vehicle basically has no visual customization options which is a bit unfortunate but honestly it kind of makes sense considering it's a pretty average looking OG sedan. Now the Washington name was first introduced in GTA Vice City and was also featured in San Andreas, Vice City Stories, and GTA 4 as well, which is almost identical to the one we have in GTA 5. Now in terms of performance, the Washington is in the Sedans class, and it's around mid-pack in that class being around the pace of the Stanier and the Warner, which is to be expected and honestly not too bad. But anyways, in terms of what the Washington is based on, is primarily based on the third gen Lincoln Town Car Executive, which was basically a luxury version of the Crown Vic. Plus, it also has some styling cues from the eighth gen Cadillac DeVille as well. But, anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Washington. Alright, let's customize George Washington's car. I'm just kidding. I know it's a terrible joke. Anyways, <laughs> armor, brakes, uh, engine, horn, we'll skip that. Lights, I think I'll leave the white lights. Uh, plate to do a custom plate. I mean, this is an American car, right? It was like an American luxury car of its time. So I guess we'll throw a American plate on there. Um, color, I don't know. I feel like this car, like in white, it looks somewhat elegant if you have enough chrome I guess which this car does maybe like a pearl white um, but I don't know I, I think it looks best in, um, in in a nice darker black like a regular black or a nice crew black I think it looks with some dark tints and black I think it just looks super nice so we're gonna do the black here normally I don't just go the, the easy route and paint a car black but this thing I mean I, I think it just needs to be this color um, oh, let me show you guys where the Kremblum goes on the hood on this one. Okay. Suspension, I think I'm definitely going to lower it. I, I hate the, the the sort of like look in the front wheels there. The, the gap is just terrible. Not a fan. Um, and this definitely helps with that. The back though is really low, but um, yeah, I think that definitely helps with the front end situation. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Um, so these wheels, the stock ones, they are pretty nice, you know, nice and classy looking. Uh, but I want something a bit different, sort of like the the wheels from the um, the, like the later Lincoln Town Car models. Uh, they had wheels that look kind of similar to, if we go here to the SUV category, we go to Chrome. We go here to a wheel called Deluxe. And from far away, I mean, these wheels actually look kind of similar to those, sort of, not exact. But I think it does look pretty good on this car. Um... But it does have, oh, I forgot it has like the two-piece sort of custom look in there. I guess that kind of ruins it for me a bit. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I was going to pick that one, but you know what? I think I'm going to go with the split stars. More like a custom look. Um, and then we'll paint them a nice gray. I think black would just, yeah, black looks a little strange. I think it needs to be like a nice stone silver. Yeah, stone silver. Um, and it still has some chrome on there, so it doesn't look too bad. Okay, uh, we got turbo, we got wheels, we're just missing window tints. Yeah, big difference. Definitely needs the window tints. And that's all the options there. Alright, let's take it for a drive. Pretty good looking car. I mean, at first glance, it kind of looks like the Stanier, <laughs> which this car, you know, mainly based on a town car, so it's kind of like of that family. Oh, it's raining. Oh, man. Oh, well. First person here, you can see it has pretty much the same interior from the, uh, the Crown Vic cop car, which is kind of cool. Um, however, they did add a wood paneling to the door panels, which I love. So the cop car doesn't have that, 
I believe this is the only car with this interior model that has the wood paneling on the doors. So that was a cool little touch there from Rockstar. Um, kind of weird though, like the rain like wetness transfers to the interior. That's weird. Look at the seat. It looks like it has a clear coat on it. <laughs> the dash too. That's weird. Huh. Anyways, uh, floored here. Sound is like... It sounds like... Kind of like the... Normal sedans. Like the Ubermach sedans or... An Oracle or something? No. I don't know, it just sounds like a generic sedan exhaust note. A Phoenix and a Ruiner. Two good cars. I already customized those though. <laughs> Decently quick. First person here. Yeah, not bad. Brakes, 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 brakes. And the rain. <laughs> and the stock exhaust tips actually look kind of cool. Now, it would have been nice to have customization on this car, but um, I feel like the one that really needs it is a stainier. Like, that's the one that needs customization. This one, I wouldn't really care too much if they don't add any customization to it. The Stainier, though, like, I think that one deserves some customization. I mean, it's mainly based on a Crown Vic. I think it should have, you know, some some customization options. This is more like the luxury model, you know, you don't really expect it to have any crazy customization. Um, and the speed, I mean, it's a cruiser, and it, it drives very boat-like, even though it is raining, but um, it's kind of similar to the Stainier in terms of performance, as you would expect. Yeah, very smooth. Soaks up the bun the bumps pretty nicely. Oh my god. Oh no. Ah, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I hate the rain so much. <laughs> Alright. Let's pull over and open all the doors here. I don't know why we're at a church, but we'll pull up and open all the doors here. Vehicle doors. It's because we almost died there, that's why. Alright, vehicle doors. Engine model. Uh, they've reused this one quite a few times. You know, OG engine model, can't expect much there. Yeah, it's like, why is it like a radiator just like popping out of a sea of just terrible texture quality? Texture quality, yeah, that's just, yeah, that's very weird. Anyways, got the interior here. Oh, the shifter's down there. Interesting. But on the real car, it's a column shifter, so that's kind of interesting. Okay. And then you got the wood paneling on the doors, which looks really cool. We got the weight reduction mod for the rear glass. Um, and we got the seats back here. Pretty decent. I mean, the texture quality is terrible as you would expect, but again, OG car. It makes sense. Trunk texture quality. I would say this is about a, about the same as the, the new Panthea that was added, <laughs> which is kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, it's bad, but the Panthea, I would say, is just as bad. That's a $2 million car, so. Yeah, this is a free car off the street. I love the executive badge here. That's so, so cool. That, of course, is a, um, a reference to the uh, Lincoln Town Car Executive trim model, um, which had, you know, similar, uh, like, badging to that as well, so. Very, very cool. Love that. At least they didn't put vapid floor mats in it, <laughs> like the Broadway. See, this one actually, they took out the logo. Even though you can still see the circle there for the vapid logo. But at least they took the logo out, so, yeah. They actually cared a little bit about this one, that's kind of surprising. But yeah, I mean, cool car, would, would I own it? It's like, should I keep it? I, I don't think so. I mean, not really... I'm not too much of a fan of these cars. I'd, I'd much rather have like a custom Stainier instead of this. Um, I think the Stainier is a cool car. This one to me is just eh. <laughs> but uh, that's just my opinion there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Nonetheless, it was still an interesting one to customize and review. But anyways, guys, remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 or do you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. Of course, the list will be down below of the cars that I haven't done as of yet. Um, we're getting really close to the end here, customizing pretty much every um, base version or some variant of car uh, of each model in the game. So, I mean, we're, we've done quite a few cars 
and uh, the list is getting smaller and smaller each week. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.